Hello my friend, welcome to my channel. Today I've got black jelly stamped with black and this was requested by Tammy Martin. I've started off with Neltix Formula 2 and I'll be using my black homemade DIY jelly polish and it goes on very sheer, but that's what jelly polishes is all about. Now if I had made this a little bit darker, I would have only needed one coat, but since I made mine very sheer, I'm gonna do two coats. I'm gonna have to break out Woody. I made a mess and I really wanted to do this one for Tammy because I thought it was a really neat idea you still see the damage on my nail but it's all good so we are going to go in with that second coat of the black jelly polish I'm just going to try to build that up a little bit I'm not expecting this to be like completely opaque I'm into this manicure knowing that it's not going to be okay so we're going to go in for a third coat like I said, if I had made that jelly polish a little more saturated, we would not be needing this many coats, but I'm good with it. I'm going to top it with some Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat, um, mostly because I'm trying to keep nice thick layers on all of these nails while that middle nail grows out and recovers. And I um, also want to get this to dry down because I'm going to, I'm going to be changing things up a little bit today. You'll see here in just a moment. I am capping that free edge. So there we go with three coats of the clear jelly polish. Hi, Woody. How you doing? Go clean up that little bit of mess. And now I'm going to use some matte top coat. I'm going to mattify these because this is what Tammy wanted to see. She wanted to see some black jelly matte nails stamped with shiny black so I'm going to do that here today there we go cap in the free edge I like that matte looks pretty cool looks rubberized I'll be using BC 04 and my Maniology Stamper my Beauty Big Bang Scraper and some Braves Diva on the black stamping polish and I'm going to use this like <clears throat> excuse me fan image today I was really drawn to this image for some reason. So we're going to plop this on the nails. There we go. We got some shiny black stamping going on there. We're going to do this on all of my nails. I'm actually still wearing this. Let me see. How many days has it been? Four days. So, you know, I've been wearing this for four days. I, don't have any tip wear and the manicure still looks amazing so that's pretty good stuff but I really really like the idea of this and I think this would look great with other colors as well so there we go we're gonna do another one scrape it lift it and apply it that's how we do it so there we go all right, I'm kind of tapping stuff down to see, you know, so if I can make it all stick. And then I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and get up any extra, you know, little bits that over stamped. And it's coming up really well with the tape. Just a really good job with that. And now I'm going to go in with some acetone and my cleanup brush and just do the tiniest bit of cleaning up here. Just a little bit. Most people wouldn't probably bother, but. I do. So there we go. That is what the request was. <clears throat> and here's a swatch photo of it all mattified with shiny black top coat. I mean, black stamping on it. And now I'm going to top it with some smudge free from Bundle Monster. I was worried that the stamping would not stick later. I had a lot of hand washing and, and stuff to do. So I am topping it with my regular shiny top coats, which I know takes away from the effect, but like I said, I had a lot of um, dishes and hand washing to be doing with Thanksgiving and all, so I wanted to make sure that I didn't lose my manicure. So here is the shiny version, but I really enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed it also. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. Talk to you soon.